workout is safe for all trimesters, I am gonna use a pair of 10 pound dumbbells. However, feel free to use whatever weight feels good for you, or you could also use water bottles or cans of beans. We'll warm up before we grab our weights. Let's start rolling our shoulders back. Bring them forward. We can bring our entire arm into it, keeping your ribs pulled down to protect your core. Switching directions. Good, you can take your right arm and stretch it across gently. Good, switching sides. Releasing, let's take a little squat. Exhale, knee up. Hugging your baby in as you lift your knees. Let's lunge back, stretching through your hamstring, stepping forward. Switching legs. Good. If you're gonna grab your weights, you can go ahead and grab your weights now. We bring our weights up to our shoulders. We're gonna squat down, exhale. Hugging your baby in, your belly should shrink. Squatting down. move to our lunge position. We're gonna press up with our opposite hand. Your upper arm very steady. You've been 
Run around, run around, run around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I Slight bend to the knees, hinging at your hips, keeping around, lots of around, length and not rounding out through your lower back. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd be at one. Oh. I know that dress is karma, perfume regret. You got me thinking about when you were mine. Wide bicep curl. Using your shoulder blades, weights come back towards your lower ribs. Baby is pulled in, wrapped around your baby. Place one weight down. You can also do these on the floor, especially if you have high blood pressure. Tricep extension. Keeping your ribs pulled in. Last one, amazing, place this weight down as well. Let's get on all fours.
Amazing job, shake it out. Let's grab a sip of water. Let's find our way into a modified side plank. Pressing into your forearm, lifting your body up. We're gonna dip down, pulling your baby in tight to your spine. Release down, take a breath. Lifting through your side body, now lifting your leg up. Last one. Release all the way down. We can cross our top leg over, straighten out our bottom leg. We're gonna lift, pulse for inner thigh pulses. Let's lift and hold. Any breath. Cause you made my day. Come with me, I swear that you say that you never felt so good. Beautiful release. You can roll over. I'm gonna move to the other side. Setting up in our side plank. Dipping down. Hips come nice and high. Last one, all the way down. Setting up for pulses. Lift and hold. Release it down. Let's come to all fours. We lift opposite arm and leg. Option to fan out. Pulling your baby into your spine.
Let's tuck our toes. Exhale, pull your baby in tight. We're gonna get up in bear hover, pulsing here. Breathing into your side and back ribs so you can keep your baby hugged in tight. Beautiful, release down. Let's take a big breath in. You can relax forward into child's pose. You can always have your hips up farther or place a pillow underneath your chest if that's more comfortable. We can shift our weight up and forward slightly, turning our palms up towards the ceiling, digging your elbows into the ground. You can reach your hands towards your shoulders, dragging back on your arms to get a nice tricep stretch. Slowly releasing. Place one hand down, take the other arm out to the side, dropping your shoulder down to get a stretch through the front of your shoulder. Gently releasing, moving to the other side. Clasping your elbows or your hands, keeping your ribs pulled down to protect your core, opening up through your chest. Exhale, gathering your core, come back up, all fours, cat and cow. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, tipping your tailbone. Moving with your back. My friends and family, they don't understand. They fear they'll lose so much if you take my hand, but for you, ooh, ooh, I'd lose it all. Coming to a neutral spine, keeping your baby pulled in. Doing some big hip circles. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Going the other direction. Baby, if you want me, then all of this will go away. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Let's come in to our yogi squat, or you can come into butterfly pose, whichever is more comfortable. You can bring our feet up, or you can stand up and drop down. If your heels come off, that's totally fine. Pressing your elbows into your knees, finding length in your spine. You can stay here or option to shift your weight into one foot and lengthen out the other leg, gently pressing your heel into the ground to get a nice stretch. The colors fading, cause I kept you waiting it's a while. Switching to the other side. And you're a while. The sun's still shining, but it seems half the size, and it's a wild, wild world. Bringing your foot in, let's find our way to a seated position. We can windshield back and forth our knees.
Let's stop on one side. We can bring our forearm around from the front of our knee, grabbing our ankle to get a quad stretch. Releasing your ankle. Let's come back up to a vertical position, reaching up and over, gentle side stretch. I've been gone for so long, it's an Exhale, engage your obliques to come up. Let's switch to the other side. I skip stones and wonder how long till I'm Knee is reaching away. Exhale, pulling your baby in as you come back up, then reaching up and over, ballooning out through your side body. Exhale, coming up. That was not an easy workout. You did amazing. I hope your body is feeling good after that workout. If you enjoyed that workout and you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna to link to my 14 day pregnancy workout challenge. I think you might enjoy that as well. I also have my complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain in labor. I'll link to it in the description box below. Of course, I will keep putting out pregnancy and postpartum workouts every week. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.